Keys that are currently in game and this is obviously the Leo 2A6. I'm also going to check out the M1A2 as well as the T90 because they're pretty much uh, they're pretty balanced in terms of like uh, those three being like very heavy competitors. As you can see there's a ton of T90s. Those are kind of like the it's pretty much t90 or bust most of the time uh they're freaking ridiculous lots of pen they have a one it has a 125 and so um the the thing with uh the t90 is that in terms of uh armor it's it's lacking the m1a2 is kind of uh in the middle as well it only has a 120 and then i think though that the leo 2a6 is probably going to be my favorite one simply because from what i've been reading it is the most balanced in terms of firepower and armor i don't know if that's completely true but um but we'll see how it goes because really what i noticed at this high tier is like you can't you can't even really pen anything other than from the side or like a couple of viewports or something like that it's not it's not like it's very easy to do and so you really have to either have good uh, positioning or um i mean you can sit there and bounce shots all day and i mean take like 100 200 damage when they shoot a, a viewport or something like that it's not like they can do a ton of stuff to you i bounce that so what i think i'm going to do is play the leo 2 the m1a2 and uh the T90 and and because I, I think that'll be pretty much like a perfect length of video because some of these high tier matches can go by pretty quick and in all reality too I don't have as much fun in armor warfare in these because I played a few matches already I don't have as much fun with these main battle tanks simply because um, I mean it's pretty much nothing but players are just standing still and like trying to peek a little bit and hit a viewport or uh, Capola or something like that. It's not like there's much action that really goes on until you have a until you have the team really push all at one time, and so that's when it gets interesting. But uh, until then, it's just kind of like you just sit around and you wait for a good opportunity to move up because you know obviously you don't want to get too far moved up where you're going to get annihilated, and so it is important to. Uh, you know still play very cautiously even though you have a vehicle that can tank all kinds of damage um and you can bounce shots left and right and then when you have you know era or aps added in or whatever uh that you know changes things even more so so uh yeah you still have to be concerned about those things though so i mean as you can see i'm, I'm just sitting here shooting at viewports capolas like i'm trying to do uh, something to them even if it's a little bit of damage because really uh, it's you just kind of stand around until your team advances essentially you, you kill somebody you make way and then you start pushing the enemy and then you know people start panicking I mean I panic every single time and I'm trying to uh, get off of doing that because it's just it's a problem because I oh my gosh the problem I didn't get hit big time right there um, it's a problem because you know it gets me killed very easily and I don't you know, maybe uh, survive as long as I should I can't do anything to that thing I I can't I can't do anything to it it's not it's not giving me any oh this guy's kind of rushing up oh gosh you might die Right, I'm gonna try to push around this corner here because this uh, one guy I was shooting at earlier the badger guy These freaking badger guys are pretty good especially because they all play together. oh my gosh this is what I'm talking about you get a huge hit like that you pretty much always do that much damage oh, he turned 190 um yeah see it's just like you just bounce it just hit viewports or optics or you know it's pretty much all that happens but I got a nice hit on the side there. This guy's rolling across too. 589. Oh my gosh. This guy is just prime target right now. Because it's not like... I think the Leo 2 has a 120. Yeah, 120. It's not like the 120 takes forever to load. You know, it's pretty quick. Got him. Nice. It's uh, it's pretty... You know, it's not, it's not too bad. Oh gosh, we're getting rushed. Try to sneak around here. 
Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Problem time. Oh, no, from the side. Look at that damage. Oh, I'm dead. Crap. That's what I'm talking about. You get a rush like that and then changes the the complete tide of the battle. And we have people come up behind me. I didn't even realize. That guy's dead. Two guys left. Man, that. It's intense. Top tier stuff is crazy. It's so intense. This guy's just hiding. I'm still trying to get used to it. But like I said, I, I don't think I have as much fun with these uh, top tier matches. Simply because, you know, that's what happens. You just kind of sit around and shoot it these little tiny weak spots and you know they don't give you very much in terms of damage and then it really though requires you to work as a team but then you know if you're not with the other people or you have a bunch of the same guys like these badger guys working together um, I mean look at all the badger guys this guy missed his shot that sucks he's dead um, then you, you have some problems if you don't have a huge team alright so we'll see what we get here and uh, I feel like that was a pretty quick match. And then we'll do probably the M1A2 next. And then finish it off with the T90. Um, a clip, whatever. I don't know what the recording will be like. But we'll finish it off with whatever that is. And uh, however we do it. And I don't know. It's kind of late. Where <laughs> It's kind of late right now. So if I'm just rambling and making no sense. Or using wrong words. It's, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. All right, a lot of the same guys in the match. Pretty much, you just run into the same people every single match. This thing looks sweet. It's so hard to get. I, I, one thing I love about War Thunder is they have that free cam and replays where you can go in and you can actually like, you know, move it around and stuff. And I don't know if they have a replay system in this game or not, but uh, I love that because I love getting screenshots, you know, certain ways and setting up screenshots. I'm just obsessed with my my. I change my freaking thumbnails like every three months. It seems like I'm just obsessed. Okay, we're going this way. This is pretty much, it seems like this is where the fights happen up here on this ridge line on this map. Um, every single time, they, everyone goes up here. And it's just a hectic mess. So M182, uh, I believe it has the 120. Um, the armor's fairly sufficient. It's not the greatest in terms of like Hall protection, but turret's not too bad. I think it's like 410, and then 320 on the side. 3 310, 410, 420, 310. One of the one of the two, vice versa. And then you know they all have different modifiers and stuff. So I, I don't know what those are, but um, I don't know if the M1A2 would be like my choice vehicle. I like the Leo 2A6 quite a bit, but the T90 obviously is like the favorite now because it's I think it's needs to be balanced a little bit more. I am, you know, one thing I am, for those of you guys who are watching, I am kind of disappointed on how many people don't have an interest in this game. Because it is a lot of fun, although, you know, it's not like... Ooh, here we go, nice. It's not like uh, War Thunder in depth is, you know, more World of Tanks-like. And so I think there's probably quite a bit of people who don't really care for that, but... <clears throat> I would at least give it a try, because if you, if you don't like World of Tanks... Uh, you know, mo most most likely, all the reasons why you don't like World of Tanks are not in this game, and so you have a, you have a rather, you know, arcade-ish game without the problems that Watt has, and so that's like primarily why I like it, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to play. But the problem I have is that I just have too many freaking games to play. I have. <laughs> A baby now and like just my time is all over the place and so get a little crazy I'm trying to adjust my sh seat while I'm taking shots at these guys this is pretty much all you do though you just okay so this is the one thing I need to be very aware of what's happening on this hill because we just lost a guy up here I think there's a spot right in the middle that you hit, if you can hit, you do a lot more damage, but it's so freaking hard to hit. I was watching uh, some Twitch people play, and they were hit, I mean, like these top tier Badger guys. They were hitting those spots, like, left and right, but I think it was luck, because, like, some matches they weren't hitting at all, and so, I don't know. It's very, oh, it's very interesting, the gameplay dynamics in these late tiers. 
trying to, you know, keep my tank angled ever so slightly so I can bounce more shots and stuff. I'm I'm gonna like move back because Oh, they already actually did quite a bit of damage there to me. Um, I want to move back because I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, they're going to push hard on this right side right here in a little bit. It doesn't seem like you have a lot of people up here. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, nice hit. Wow, that actually does a ton of damage. Freaking arty, man. Can't pan anything on these freaking T90s. Drives me nuts. Oh, that guy. Another 300 damage. Ah, 200. This is crazy. Another reason not to play broken tier 9. Um, you got a guy at least. Uh, oh my gosh, that hit was huge. I'm dead. Oh, nice. Another big hit. That's kind of like all I care about right now is getting huge hits. Getting that ammo. I'm getting that ammo. Getting that XP. Wow. It's too late right now. <laughs> It's too late, you guys. Oh, man. Um, man, another big hit. Well, at least I'm getting some bigger hits, but our team is falling apart up here. Tier 9 does seem pretty... Pretty messed up currently, I think. Man, we are getting pushed back so hard. I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go. If I rush down the hill, they're just going to push around and shoot at me. I'm going to be screwed. This guy. Oh, that Leo. I watched my side here. Oh, that sucks. I'm dead. I turned the wrong way. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Freaking top tier is crazy. Wow. What a stupid, what a stupid move on my part, though. This dude's got four kills in the video. Holy crap. It's positioning. It's all about positioning. Oh, great. We're, we lose this match, too. There's no way we're winning this. No way. Not a chance. Should have just cap the zone, man. Should have just tried to cap it. Oh, it's so funny, like, watching some people play uh, top tier. They'll get in like a oh, hole. They're getting like crabs and stuff, and then they'll just all go rush the cap, and they'll cap it in like two seconds. So dumb, but they get a pretty good amount of XP. I think a guy got like I was watching like six K XP or something. He had a he had a uh, premium account, but still, you know, it's crazy. You can get that much from just capping. Maybe he did some damage and stuff too. I don't know. There's no way we're winning this. It's over. Just give up, man. Just give up. All right, here we go with the beast. This is a little bit different of a match because there's no one in it. It's like a very limited amount of people. Uh, we played a match. I played a match like this earlier, and there were like tier sixes and sevens in because there was like nobody queued up, and so we like I sat there and waited like ten minutes. I gotta figure out the best time to get on. I think it's probably during the EU time. I'm just gonna hop on because I think I have everything. The same over there. Well, not the exact same. Um, but I have everything. I know that for sure. I just don't. I just unlock things a little differently. Anyway, the point is we're playing the T90. And uh, this thing can. I'm just going to be bouncing shots all day. 2290 HP. The Leo 2 has 2600. And the M1A2 has 2900. And so, you know, take your pick on uh, HP and stuff, but this has a better gun. does a little bit better in da the damage compartment. So, you know, obviously for balancing issues, it's going to have... Get out the way. It's going to have less uh, HP. And the Chally, the Chally has way more HP, but you can't freaking pen anything with that thing. At least I couldn't when I was using it. And so, I don't know, man. It's, it's personal preference, but it's uh, one of those things that you... You really need to figure out your play style. Uh, this is probably not a good idea going up here. So that guy right there. This, this is that guy who's uh, a streamer, Spishak or whatever. I've watched him a few times. I asked him, uh, like, if he had to rank the top tier tanks, or if he had personal preference, and everyone just was like T90, T90. It's like all anybody plays. 
Oh, it just bounced. This guy's in an interesting position because he's got the bridge and we can't see him, but he can pop over at any time and shoot us. And we're getting rushed by a couple things here. Look, this, what? Oh, what a wasted opportunity. Are you kidding me? What is that guy thinking, man? He's rolling down. 230, nice hit there. Yo, yo, what are these guys doing? They're just like rushing like crazy right now. I gotta help out though. Identify target. No pen? What the? I'm getting hit hard, man. Holy smokes. Yeah, what the heck do you mean, no pen? Let's see if I can. Nice, 785. Sick. What is it? Do, do you. First of all, do you not see me? Second of all, why, why am I not penning this thing? The freaking C1. What? This is nuts, man. That guy's dead. Oh, nice. 699. Huge hit there. Let's see if I can get into... Ah, yeah. No pen. 325. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 7, 705. Oh, he's dead. Can I survive? Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. No, that was a stupid shot. He bounced. The guy on the hill, though. The guy on the hill. Those are the guys on the hill, man. Oh. Come on. Yeah. It's so oh, the other guy's dead. Oh, how the heck did I... How did this challenger and myself just survive that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They came at us hard with a hard rush right there. That was surprising. I did not expect that. Oh, this guy's full up. Full health. Holy smokes, man. 65 HP. And all I do is destroy a module. I gotta get in front. I gotta buy this tank for cover, man. Oh, that is insanity. 65 HP. Do I risk it? I gotta try to get some kills, man. Oh, he bounced. Could have been my death right there. Ricochet. That Spishak guy, he's nearly dead, I think. Where is he at? Is he rushing? Is he flanking? Oh, it got hit hard right there, man. Okay, I can't do anything to this dude. This is stupid. The other guy's pushing back. Oh, yeah. Go get him, man. DM-1128. Oh, he's... Dude, those, those things, those strikers hit hard. Here he is. Trying to fl flank me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh, he missed. He's trying to rush a shot to get me. And he missed. Come on. Freaking MGS, get up here, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Trying to, like, wiggle. Oh! He bounced again. Get out of dodge, man. It's not like the reload's too long. Oh, he's going to get... I was going to say, he's going to get hit hard right now. The striker's coming over the hill, and this other guy's right to the side. And this guy's dead. He is toast. Let me get a shot in. Yeah, 772. Oh my gosh, we're gonna win this. Come on, come on, go and reload. Oh, we won. Wow, that was insane, man. That was great. Nice flank for that striker. That was great. That MGS did well. Oh, how how are myself and the chat is still alive? That's just insane. We both had like no HP. Uh, well, he probably had like 600 still, even being in the red with all that HP he's got, like 3,000 some. Wow. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. This that was intense. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. It is late. I'm calling it for the night. Uh, 12,000. Holy crap. Five assists. That is an insane amount of premium. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.